Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we continue training and mentoring the Manchester University Wasp team as we're called to assist a local tree removal service that had run into a very active bald-faced hornet nest while working on a tall tree they were removing for a client. So we suited up and we borrowed their bucket truck lift and we went up to remove the nest that hung in the tree branches around 45 feet in the air. The tree crew had to stop their work in the middle of the job so their crew didn't get attacked and stung while working at dangerous heights with chainsaws. They're a good local crew and we know them. We were happy to help. When we got up to the nest, we saw it was still very active with a large population. And typically on a nest like this, we'd take a while to collect the whole population before we remove the nest. But as you can see here, the whole tree crew was waiting for us to complete the job so that they could get back to work. It's a very expensive thing to do to have a tree crew come and remove your tree. So the client was paying for all this time and we needed to get it done as quickly as possible. So as you see here, we just boxed it up very quickly in a plastic bin. And then we started collecting the attacking wasps that were left over. As you see here, there were still plenty of them around. So it was not safe for the crew to come up yet, even though we had the nest contained. We had to spend a decent amount of time collecting returning wasps as they came back to where the nest used to be. And that's what you see happening here. On this day, we collected as much as we could with the time that the crew had left for that day. And we brought the specimens down. As you see here, Colleen from the team is going to freeze them. And then we brought the brood comb back to the barn lab and we gassed it inside a bag. This is CO2 gas. Once the wasps inside the bag are knocked out, we can take the brood comb out, separate any wasps in there from the brood comb, and located the queen, as you see here, the large white patches on her shoulders, you see. This makes it easy to identify her as the queen. We found a few other wasps in there as well that we could freeze for venom immunotherapy. And then we took the brood comb and put it into one of our incubation habitats where they can hatch out and we can collect them later as adult wasps for venom immunotherapy. If you'd like to view the entire episode in long form, you can do that on our channel. Just click on the link in the description. As always, we thank you for riding along with us. We appreciate every viewer who enjoys our content. If you do enjoy this episode, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment to let us know you're there.